Hi guys, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I am your teacher, Aubrey Carter. Today you will learn how to use subject verb agreement for collective nouns, including some very tricky ones, plethora, myriad, and multitude. I've been teaching ESL for 19 years. I'm new to All Ears English, and I am so excited to be part of this amazing team. We often get questions and comments in our Three Keys Facebook group asking very specific grammar questions. We answer all of these and save students a ton of time going down those rabbit holes with all of the information online. If you want to be part of this Facebook group and have 24-7 access to IELTS experts, sign up at allearsenglish.com forward slash keys. Now, some of these questions, like today's topic, can be extremely confusing because a Google search is going to give you conflicting information. Collective nouns can be tricky. Do you write the group is or the group are? Both can be right. It depends on the meaning of the sentence. You should treat a collective noun as singular or plural, depending on the sense of what you're saying. So the crowd is happy or the crowd seems happy because you're referring to the crowd as a whole. But the crowd are all wearing pajamas because you're referring to the individuals and there are many of them. If it feels a little uncomfortable treating a collective noun as singular or plural or you're not sure which is correct, there's a trick, a tip you can use. You can add a term like members of to force a plural term. For example, the members of the crowd are laughing. I am going to share three vocabulary words that trip people up. You can Google these and find arguments, people disagreeing about the right way to use them. And a lot of this is because language evolves over time. And the way they were used historically is not always the way that we use them commonly now. The first one is plethora. This is a singular noun similar to plentitude or abundance, which means a lot of something. The reporters had a plethora of questions after the debate. This means they watched the debate and afterward they had many, many questions. Um, myriad is another one that this is an extremely high countless number. It's usually used to refer to something that is countable, like the leaves on a tree, but the number is too high to count. Uh, for example, there are a myriad of possibilities. You should use plural verb agreement. A myriad of is a quantifier, like a lot of a number of, a variety of. So just like you'd use plural verb agreement to say there are a lot of possibilities, you would also use plural verb agreement, agreement for myriad. A myriad of reasons exist. Another quantifier is our third one, multitude. Regarding those who hold this opinion, there are a multitude of reasons given. You use plural verb agreement for multitude, the same as for these other quantifiers. If you want to be part of our extremely active Facebook community, it's only available to Three Keys students. So if you join our Three Keys success system, then you have access 24-7 to... IELTS professionals, IELTS experts that can answer your questions, give you the information you need to save you that time so that you're not Googling and finding all of this conflicting information. So join today, allearsenglish.com forward slash keys, K-E-Y-S. And if you found this video helpful, like it, share it, and leave a comment. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com slash app.